everybody how are you today i am smriti and this is the series being a montessori parent so the topic for this video is uncomfortable but necessary conversations i'm sure you all relate to what the title says so let's try to understand um, how the, how we can deal with these uncomfortable situations so uh, when children are developing there are many aspects of development like physical emotional intellectual and so on and we all know that the physical aspect of development you can see it happen because the child is growing up physically it's very visual to you but um, the intellectual development is a little difficult to understand so how do you know that your child is uh, developing intellectually by uh, the fact that they are learning something new and most importantly the curiosity that is the questions that they ask um, makes you know that they are interested and they are having that intellectual development happening within them but um, sadly but truly these questions is what sends us uh, up the wall sometimes and we don't know what to say and we are in a uh, in a fix so let's see how um, these questions can be addressed so in uh, children when intellectual development uh, starts to happen or is happening uh, basically they start, they um, get their um, uh, answers to questions by repeatedly asking them so the questions lead to answers and this question and answer leads to a conversation between an adult and a child when the question is straightforward the answer is straightforward and there is a straightforward conversation but when the question is kind of uncomfortable parents usually um, avoid it ignore it or sometimes answer it in a very awkward way which um, leads to an uncomfortable conversation this is not true for everyone some of them are really good at it but those who still don't know what to say it becomes an uncomfortable conversation so uh, let's see how we can turn these uncomfortable conversations into meaningful conversations because at the end of the day any interaction that you have with your child is for the benefit of the child so there are questions that are asked when a child asks a question um, dr montessori said the it's very important that we answer it because that's how their intellectual development is happening so she also said that children in the second plane that is 6 to 9 year olds generally ask spiritual questions like how did the world begin and the reason the uh, since she saw this happening in children she came up with the great lessons in the primary curriculum where she talks about the big bang and how human evolution happened and everything so that the child can get an answer and also a kind of a humility to where they are right now versus all that has happened uh, on um, you know in the universe before them so we have the age of the universe and the age of the earth and all these are uh, lessons that give them a kind of a answer to these kind of questions these spiritual questions so uh, that is taken care by the primary curriculum but i'm going i'm talking about very basic questions which can put us in a spot so uh, it's very important for parents to look at the question as it is and not add meaning to it for example i'll tell you the basic question that children ask is um, where do babies come from so as soon as a child asks this question the parent immediately becomes weary because our head is going in places but the child has asked a very straightforward question the where do babies come from the child is not thinking about the sex part of it but our mind starts thinking about it and because of that we give a weird answer and there is an uncomfortable situation so look at the question as it is and don't add meaning to it so where do babies come from the answer is very straightforward they come from the uh, biological mother's stomach that is the answer now when you give this answer most of the time the child is happy and they go away but depending on the level of curiosity and also depending on how much they can learn they will ask a even more deeper question so um how does it happen so then again the question is how does it happen it's a very straightforward question so you say the cells from the mom and the cells from the dad get together and they make a baby and the child is happy with this and they go away 
but so there is no need to give more information than what is necessary the answers that are given need to be age appropriate so when a teenager or an even older child is seeking for this answer they may be looking for the real deal and that's when you need to talk about it not otherwise so i hope you understand what i'm trying to say that the question that's coming from the child is very basic and very um, simple but we complicate it in our heads because we know more than what is required so keeping the answers age appropriate if there is a where question then you give a where answer so that's what we need to keep in mind the other thing is uh, the answers need to be truthful because like i said this is the intellectual development and the child is developing and taking answers from what you are giving to create that kind of knowledge within him so it's very important to keep the answers very truthful now what happens when you ignore a question if you ignore a question a very young child may forget it and you know not ask it for some time but slowly they will go and ask some other person or some other child who may give them an answer that is not appropriate and it's even worse for the intellectual development so i think it is better that we learn how to answer their questions and try to make conversations meaningful so now if we are able to address their um, questions in a positive way and we are open to discussion so if there is another keep on answering the questions that the child asks and there's no fear in the discussion your child should not be scared to ask you any question because of the uh, intimidation that we feel with the question and we sometimes um, are shouting at them so i have noticed this in myself as a parent that uh, when i am not comfortable in answering or i'm scared then i start my uh, my whole body language changes and then i'm kind of rude and the answer uh, given to the child is not satisfying the child's uh, curiosity and also they may not want to come back to ask you a question and so then you are sending them to places where they may not write the, find the right answer also a freedom to express it's important to allow children to express their points of view especially teenagers because uh, the world is changing and there are lots of things that even we didn't know when we were growing up and it's happening now and so when they ask you about it you you either find out about it or you find out together with the child but it has to have that freedom to express and that space for the child to have his own opinions so that there is no um, fear in having conversations so um, there's another uh, uh, thing that you're going to encounter as children start growing older is they start having feelings of love and when they have these kind of feelings if they are not having a um, kind of uh, openness with their parent to come and talk with them then they don't know where to go to and it may lead to um, wrong ideas and um, create a problem for the child so you can't really uh, stop the child from having these feelings because the body is has secreting those hormones as they grow up and they are going to be feeling those things but we need to tell uh, the place where we need to guide them is what are they going to react to these feelings that's happening within them how are they going to react so um that's where they have the uh, key in their hands rather than uh, telling them no you can't have these feelings because that's not going to work all these situations are something that comes up as the child grows up and so it's important for us to be open to have these conversations if we are not going to have these conversations they're going to seek it seek answers in places which may not give them the right answers so i hope um, we all can muster the courage to uh, make those brave uh, attempts to answer those questions that our children are so badly seeking and first of all are trying to answer it to the level that they are looking for there's no need to give them answers that uh, they are not looking for because when you tell a very young child something more than what they ought to know then they are going to find it very funny and go tell everybody you know what my mom said and this 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 and that's not going to be um, very comfortable for everybody around them 
So uh, keep your conversations uh, in a way that you are answering their questions in an age appropriate and truthful way. So when you address questions this way, you are having meaningful conversations with your children. So I hope this will encourage all of you to embark on this journey of having meaningful conversations and answering those um, curious questions that your children uh, are always asking you. Uh, thank you for listening and if you have not subscribed, this is the time to press the subscribe button. You can visit www.formativeage.in for more information and until I see you again, goodbye.